Hello friends, myself Chetan Karwal. Today we are in standard 9 English medium chapter number 8 subject science. Topic name is graphical representation of motion. So now in previous lecture, in this chapter we have to represent motion by a practically or a theoretically using speed, velocity, acceleration. Now here using graph means graphical representation of motion. So two types of motion. First, uniform motion or non-uniform motion, non-uniform acceleration, uniform acceleration, uniform velocity, non-uniform velocity, speed in speed case also. So this all type of uh, describe in a graphical. So first point represented it means graph of distance again time. Distance again time. So x axis, y axis. In the x axis, we have to take a time. Distance again time means y axis. Distance. So y axis. This is an x axis. Different different times for a 0, 20, 40, and 60. 10, 20, 30, and 40. So, time in minutes and distance in kilometers. In a taken minutes, distance in taken kilometers. So in equal times have reach equal distance on equal times means here 0 seconds, 0 minutes start at rest condition. Now 10 it's 10. Now here 40, here 30 to get 30. After 40 it means equal time periods have equal measurement. So graph is a straight line graph. Distance divided by time. Distance divided by time. It means speed. So the speed of this object means constant speed for the uniform. Uniform words. You can also constant speed, uniform or a constant speed when the graph is straight line with distance again time. Graph is straight line, so we say that the object travels by uniform or a constant speed. Remember that ask a linear equation. Distance again time graph, distance again time graph is straight line. So we say that speed is uniform to the constant. Next, another graph like same distance again time. Distance in kilometer. Time in minutes, so this is known as x axis is a y axis 10, 20, 30, 40. So, in a 10 second, at a 20 kilometers, after 10 second, he is say 30 kilometers, after 30, he is completed 50, after 40. So this graph is continuously increasing, it means not increase, decrease, so this type of graph, it is represented non-uniform motion, represented non-uniform motion. In 
motion words, you can also use words speed. So non-uniform, when uniform, graph is straight line. So yeah, here so cos shape graph are represented non-uniform motion to the speed of object. This is completed here times and distance and times again graph now it's give speed now another quantity is acceleration acceleration a is equal to change in velocity divided by time and here speed Distance divided by time. So acceleration is equal to change in velocity divided by time. So now we present it velocity against time graph. Velocity again. So x axis here represented y axis. So time set 10, 20, 30, 40 in minutes, units and velocity in kilometer units. So 0, 10, 20, 40, 50 and 60. So different divide. Velocity with respect to times. So first object in a equal distance, the time will be same. It means time will be changed, but the speed, but the velocity is same. It means at the zero equal at the ten forty after ten forty after thirty minutes forty. So this type of graph can be solved. So is a uniform uniform motion is also described on a straight line. Plus 40 at every equal time 
periods. So the time period will be same then. The rate of change of velocity will be constant. No change R in velocity. So uniform motion. Now also another graph of this case is and the constant velocity in this case and continuously increase for a distant velocity against time graph velocity against time graph continuously increase it may be represented that the constant velocity the object can be travels so continuously graph can be increased in a straight line so the object is speed is continuously increase it means continuously to meter per second to meter per second increase by every time seconds continuously increase but sometimes when apply brakes so apply brakes our vehicles cars can be speed will be decrease in one time at the stop so Here at high speed, after brake apply, after brake apply, the vehicle can be stopped after some hour distance. So velocity again, time graph is continuously decrease in one time at a stop. And here stop continuously increase opposite. So this type of motion, retarded motion. Name of this type of motion is retarded motion. Now so retarded acceleration can be so. So remember that retarded motion it is continuously decrease. And when we apply, so the brake will be applied on vehicles, so the speed continuously decrease, and one time we stop. And the non-uniform, so non-uniform means same velocity and time graph. So we present it in gray. So you can see any. Zigzag line can be seen the non-uniform velocity. So object travel by different different velocity with respect to different time periods. So remember that all type of graph, all type of motion can be represented on graph. So thank you, friends. Remember that.